All right, so I just want to make sure that you were clear on how to do these mathematically. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and work problem four with you. And uh, note that we're going to start off with a vector that is 9.2 centimeters east. And then we're going to add to that 1.2 north. And then to that, we're going to add 2.9 south. Now notice, um, because I'm doing this mathematically, I didn't draw them exactly to scale. Uh, but you do want to make sure that uh, you're at least doing approximate scale. Uh, so this is a should be shorter than this, but um, notice this is double that. Because otherwise, when you get ready to go draw the resultant, you might end up in the wrong quadrant uh, if you weren't even close to, to scale. So basically what I'm going to do here is I want to notice that this resultant vector that I just drew has two components. It has both a vertical component and a horizontal component. And the vertical component, of course, is in the down direction, the south direction, because the 2.9 south vector was longer than the 1.2 north vector. And that's going to tell me exactly how much south it is. I just take the difference of those two, and I know that it's 1.7 centimeters south. And then, of course, there was only the one horizontal uh, vector. Uh, if there were two, like you see in uh, problem six, for example, then, of course, I would just find either the sum or difference of those, depending on if they're in the same or opposite directions. And so I'm left with 9.2 centimeters horizontally. And then I can just use Pythagorean theorem to find the uh, hypotenuse of that triangle that I've drawn. And plugging in, I get that it's 9.4, we'll call it, centimeters. And then, of course, all that's left to do is to find the direction to name it. So I've got uh, two options for finding the direction. I know that I want to find an angle that's touching the tail of the vector I'm naming, and so I could either do that one, or I could take the smaller one above it there. And, of course, uh, I'm going to find the angle the same way using trig and preferably the values that were given and uh, use inverse tan. Uh, if I find this angle here, then I'm going to add it to 270 because that's the direction I know there. If I find this angle, I'm going to subtract it from 360. Uh, and so just for, because I have more room here, I'm going to find this angle. I'm going to punch in inverse tan of 9.2 over 1.7. Make sure you're in degree mode. That gives me an angle of, we'll call it 80 degrees. It's past 270, therefore my final answer should be 9.4 centimeters at 350 degrees. So I want to note something that this is going to also uh, be serving as an example for ones like you're going to see on the back of the new practice problems, and that is simply taking a vector, uh, call it uh, 7.8 centimeters at 41 degrees, and as you learned in your reading, doing what we call resolving it into its components. And so how much of that is horizontal? How much of that is vertical? And of course, we're just going to use uh, trig uh, to determine those components of the vector. And of course, that works uh, in any quadrant. I drew it in quadrant one here, but uh, you can do it uh, for any direction. All right. Do well.